Hi there. In this short video on behavioral economics, we're going to be focusing on the availability bias or the availability heuristic. There are numerous examples of cognitive bias which have been investigated by behavioral scientists. And this is quite a common one. Cognitive biases affect how people process what is often very complex information. So the availability bias or the availability heuristic is, is this. It's when we tend to overestimate the likelihood of something happening because either a similar event has happened or very recently or because we feel very emotional about a previous similar event. The result is that people tend to uh, misjudge the likelihood of something happening or the frequency of its occurrence simply because certain examples come easily to their mind. And one of the consequences of this is that people become poor at estimating probability. Uh, they become poor at estimating risk assessments. Classic examples, people who have a, a morbid fear of getting stuck in a lift that's falling to the ground. They tend to overestimate, overestimate how many people have been injured or killed in lift accidents. People who have read about a shark attack on an Australian beach overestimate the risk factor in them being attacked as well if they, if they take a dip. You might uh, see a smoker who's reached the age of 100 and is lauded in the newspaper for this fantastic achievement. And as a result of this, because it becomes because it comes easily to mind, you then overestimate the likelihood of somebody who smokes 40 a day living beyond the normal life expectancy. Uh, periods of very warm weather or extreme weather uh, have a great saliency and they therefore affect people's beliefs and calculations about the effects of climate change. Some evidence, for example, if you live near, close to a, a, somebody who's won a big lottery win, that you're more likely to buy more lottery tickets as well. So the availability heuristic is really quite important. Um, we tend to overestimate things that have a saliency in our minds. Here's a good example of the availability bias. If you ask young people where do they get their news from, they, they what immediately comes to their own mind is they've been looking at Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat uh, for their news. It's highly unlikely that those young people will read a newspaper or a magazine or a journal or perhaps even the TV news. In fact, the evidence is that most people still get most of their news from the TV rather than social media, although print newspapers have fallen quite a long way behind. So here's an example of the availability heuristic. The examples that you come to your mind are not necessarily those that uh, that are relevant for the wider population. So this is what we mean by the availability of bias or the availability heuristic. Uh, 